So do you have a favorite quote, something you've heard that just really impacts you or impacted you and may, you know, you just heard it and you're like, man, that just sticks with me. I really get that. Well, there's one for me and I came across it. It's very old. It's, you know, but everyone's heard it. Um, but I came across it as I was coming out of my suicide stuff and discovering all the things that I talk about, some of the principles that I figured out as to why our life is a struggle and what's missing for us. And I was really understanding how fear works. You know, it's, if you've read my book, you see I talk about fear in a way no one else has. And I, I wanted to share it with you because I think it's I think it's at the core, because as I've always said, our greatest fear, we don't ever fear failure. None of us have ever feared failure. It's not even humanly possible because every single one of us has laid there in bed knowing exactly what we need to do. Whether it's a relationship, we need to call or send flowers or cook dinner, do something nice. Or if it's business, we need to send an email or something like that. But every single one of us in that moment, we go, ah, I just don't feel like it. Right in that moment, we've chosen failure. We're not afraid of it at all. We already know the outcome. We know exactly what we need to do to succeed in our life, but that feeling overtakes us. And this quote helped me discover that, that there's only one real main fear, and that's our fear of success, the fear of living in how great we all are. And this quote helped me discover that. So I wanted to, I have to read it to you because it's too long. Uh, I can't recite it um, by heart, but I, uh, hopefully it has the same impact on you where you see, oh my God, I've never been afraid to fail. My greatest fear is living to my full potential. And that's what this quote did for me. So it's called Our Deepest Fear. Our deepest fear is not that we are inadequate. Our deepest fear is that we are powerful beyond measure. It is our light, not our darkness, that most frightens us. We ask ourselves, who am I to be brilliant, gorgeous, talented, and fabulous? Actually, who are you not to be all of those things? Your playing small does not serve the world. There is nothing enlightening about shrinking so that other people won't feel unsure around you. We were all born to make manifest the greatness that is within us all. It is not in just some of us. It is in everyone. As we let our light shine, we consciously give other people permission to do the same. As we are liberated from our own fear, our presence automatically liberates others. You see, that's what scares the living hell out of all of us, is how absolutely amazing we are and what if we walked in it? What if we lived in that? And so we pull back because we, we don't wanna upset those around us, we wanna keep you know, them liking us and all this stuff. Yet when we do that, we rob all of us of our true potential. And when we choose to pursue that, we give everyone else permission. And that's why, you know, it was after I read this quote and I had the discovery of, oh my God, it's not failure. We, we're not afraid to fail at all. We're afraid of that power. We're afraid of how absolutely amazing we are. That's overwhelming to us. And that's when I realized the only way to do the kind of work I do is if I'm willing to expose how absolutely messed up and broken I am. And a, a, a thought came to me, a quote that I have is, when you learn to forgive yourself, they can't hurt you with it anymore. Do you hear that? So what that means is when I can accept how absolutely awful and broken I am, you can't hurt me with it. Like if you've seen some of my posts, some people will call me a fraud or this, or you're blankety blank. And I'm like, yeah, you know, you're right. I've been a fraud in my life. You know, I think someone said, you bring no value. And I'm like, well, 
that's true. There are times I don't bring any value to anyone. So my point is, is when you get into reality and you realize it's not failure, it's the power of knowing, oh my God, I'm perfectly imperfect. And it's okay. And that when people judge you and call you names, there's probably truth in it. And that's okay too, even if it's ugly. That's the power we all have in us. That's the greatness we all have in us. And to do that, we have to be willing to see how broken and imperfect we are. That's where our greatness lies. That's where our power lies. And so when other people see it, what a gift. Like what a gift when someone leaves what most people would call a nasty comment. A, you know, at least on my stuff, they're like, you're a blankety blank. I'm like, man, I love this person. Like they see me, they see all of me. And think of that, think how lucky I am. This person is calling me some sort of name, which is probably almost always true. Like I've been or done that, I've been that kind of person or done things to be that kind of person. But they care enough to see through the image of, oh, I'm this or that. They see all of me. That means they're paying attention. Now you tell me, where's the problem in that? Like, please. Show me and tell me how broken and imperfect I am. What a gift. So think through that. Look at your life and look at how what you've thought is a fear of failure is actually a fear of your greatness and how absolutely amazing you are. And who are you not to be brilliant, gorgeous, talented, and fabulous? We need that. You deserve it. You deserve it inside yourself. And we deserve to experience that from you. We won't shrink away from it. We will embrace you for it. So please let us see it. Share it with all of us. I hope that helps you. And I hope that resonates with you. And if you've been struggling between the two, you're like, you know what? It's time. It's time. It's time I quit putting this off and I choose how wonderful I am. So I hope you do. Have a great day.